Hi everyone. So welcome to operations of functions. So when you talk about operations, you know the four basics, such as addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. However, in function, there is one additional operation. So let's get in. Okay, functions can be operated such as addition or subtraction, multiplication, division, and the new one is composition. Okay, here are concept in doing the operations in function. So, uh, given f of x and g of x, so you have now two functions. So, it's either f of x plus or minus g of x will be equal to f plus minus g of x. So, we combine now the function of f and, and g through operation of addition or subtraction. Now, next is f of x times g of x. So, you have now f g then of x. We have now f of x divided by g of x or f over g of x. And then we have now f circle of g of x or f of g of x. That's how we do the composition. Okay, let's have an example. This one is for addition. So given f of x equal to 2x squared minus 3x plus 5. And g of x equal to 3x squared minus 4x minus 2. So what is f of x plus g of x? So, we state that f of x plus g of x would be equal to, this is now your f of x, which is 2x squared minus 3x plus 5. And then you add now the second function, which is g of x, which is the value at 3x squared minus 4x minus 2. Now, operating that, I just want to rewrite that. Now, you combine now the like terms. So, we have now 2x squared plus 3x squared minus 3x minus 4x plus 5 minus 2. So, as a sum, it would be 5x squared minus 7x plus 3. So, we can say that f of x plus g of x equal to 5x squared minus 7x plus 3. Okay, let's have now an example for subtraction. So, same function, f of x equal to 2x squared minus 3x plus 5. And then g of x equal to 3x squared minus 4x minus 2. Now, what is f of x minus g of x? Now, we write now our statement, f of x minus g of x is equal to, this is now our minuend, 2x squared minus 3x plus 5. And then we have our subtrahen, which is 3x squared minus 4x minus 2. Now, we want to write this one in a careful manner, so we're writing that again. And then make sure to follow the steps in subtracting. So we need to change the sign of the subtrahen. So, the minuend is the same. And then, negating now the subtrahend. So, we'll have now this um, statement, 2x squared minus 3x plus 5 minus 3x squared plus 4x plus 2. Now, combining now the like term, so we have now 2x, minus 3, uh, 2x squared minus 3x squared minus 3x plus 4x plus 5 plus 2. Now, getting now this simplified form or the sum, negative x squared plus x plus 7. So therefore, we can say that f of x minus g of x equal to negative x squared plus x plus 7. Okay, let's have now the multiplication. So given a function f of x equal to 5x minus 1, and then g of x equal to 7x plus 3. So what is the product of f of x and g of x, or f of x times g of x? So we're writing that. So we have now our first factor, which is 5x minus 1. Then we have our second factor, which is 7x plus 3. So we're writing that we have now 5x minus 1 times 7x plus 3. Using now the FOIL method, we have now 35x squared plus 15x minus 7x minus 3. Combining like terms, so our simplified answer is 35x squared plus 8x minus 3. So we can say that the product of f and g is equal to 35x squared plus 8x minus 3. Okay, let's have now the division. So, in division, this is now how it will work out. So, f of x equal to x squared plus 2x plus 1. And g, then, g of x equal to x squared minus 1. So, we want to divide f by g. So, we can have this one. So, writing that again. So, we have now our numerator as x squared plus 2x plus 1. Then, all over the denominator, which is x squared minus 1. Now, when writing this one, this is the same. 
in having division, you can use now factoring if there are possibilities. So there are a lot of ways. And we have a specific topic for division on the latter part, on the next part of poly, um, in polynomial functions. So having that, we use now factoring. So the factor will lead you to square of x plus 1 and then difference of two squares. So we have now x plus 1 times x minus 1. Canceling, so the final answer would be x plus 1 over x minus 1. So we can say that the quotient of f over g is x plus 1 all over x minus 1. Okay, let's have now the last one, which is composition. So given f of x equal to x squared minus 3x plus 5, and then g of x equal to negative 4x. So f circle of g of x, or we could say that f of g of x. So here's how you're going to work that out. So when you write that f circle of g of x, the first thing you need to do is to write now what is f. So f is x squared minus 3x plus 5. Now, the next function is g. You put all the value of g in all of the x's in f. So this is how it works. So negative four, uh, square of negative 4x minus 3 times negative 4x plus 5. Now let's have now, so, uh, let's have now the solution. So the square of negative 4x squared minus 3 times negative 4x plus 5. So getting now the square that is 16x squared minus 3 times negative 4x plus 5. Now, getting now the product, so we have now our answer as 16x squared plus 12x plus 5. So, therefore, f circle of g of x is equal to 16x squared plus 12x plus 5. I hope you learned something about the operations of functions. So, thank you for watching. Hope you learned something.